Before I get started, I want to give a shout out to Marcus Shepard for his donation to the channel, as well as a special thank you to all of you who've chosen to donate anonymously. And if you'd like to support the channel directly, Cash App and PayPal are available. Just be sure to let me know in the for section if it's okay for me to mention you publicly, or else I'll assume you'll want to remain anonymous. And here we go. The Book of Eli is a story about a rogue warrior that treks across the nuclear-ravaged wasteland of, of post-apocalyptic America, while in possession of a sacred book that holds the secret to humanity's salvation and restoration. It features Denzel Washington, Mila Kunis, Gary Oldman, and the late Ray Stevenson. It's directed by the Hughes Brothers, written by Gary Whittier, and produced by Denzel Washington. And though I haven't seen it in more than a decade, I remember it being one of my favorite movies of 2010. I thought the cast was great. I thought the story was unique, gritty, and intelligent, and the action sequences were well choreographed. My only issue was the final scene. I thought Solara, the Mila Kunis character, wandering off into the wasteland as the new Eli, was a bit grab-ass. I didn't think it fit the tone of the character or movie, and it came across as an attempt to pander to the woman's empowerment crowd. But as much as I loved the story, it never felt complete. It always seemed like it was more to it, like it was the conclusion to a long-running series. And I was disappointed when I found out that it wasn't an adaptation, that it was an original screen-written concept, which meant there was no origin story, no explanation of what happened. So the movie, though good, was a bit unsatisfying. And that's why I was excited when I heard the news that a prequel series was being produced that will apparently take place 30 years prior to the events of the movie, and that John Boyega is being cast as the new, younger Eli, in place of Denzel Washington. Yes! That's awesome! But I also have some concerns that we're going to address in this video. So, let's get it. <laughs> The first time that I was introduced to John Boyega was in the Star Wars sequels, the ones featuring Rey. And needless to say, I didn't like him as an actor. And I believe that was largely due to how much I hated those sequels. But all of that changed when I saw him in the lead role in the movie Breaking. And if you haven't seen that movie, check it out. It's well worth your time. And I even liked him in The Woman King, though the movie was he was good in it. So yes, I think he's a perfect casting for a Book of Eli prequel series. However, I can't help but feel a bit apprehensive about the series itself. You see, The Book of Eli was released in 2010, six years prior to this woke, DEI-inspired era of filmmaking. And since then, everything being made, especially the prequels and remakes, are retrofitted for, quote, modern audiences, which is code for, Put a chick in it, make her gay! And don't get me wrong, there's always been progressive messaging in film, but it used to be subtle, subliminal, and metaphorically. Now it's just brazen and in the way, to the extent that it destroys the integrity of the plot and the organic nature of the characters. Movies today are more centered around diversity and inclusion than they are telling a good story. And my fear is that the same will happen to the Book of Eli. Even though the lead character is a black man, that isn't good enough for Hollywood. For example, what if John Boyega portrays Eli as he was in the original film, as an uber-masculine heroic figure? That would be problematic, as all displays of black masculinity are shunned in popular media. It's right up there with the white patriarchy, in terms of things that should be banned from society the way some folks tell it, which inevitably means we're gonna get heavy doses of THE MESSAGE. Shout out to the critical drinker. But yeah, they're going to be lectures and lessons on male privilege, as well as an example of female dominance. That's just the standard practice in today's American entertainment media. But we'll see, and I'll try to remain optimistic, as the series is in the beginning stages of production, and we won't likely see anything for another two years. But fingers crossed, I hope they don't mess it up. So I'm going to end things right here, but before I do, please be sure to check out the other videos in my library, as I'm sure there's something there you'll enjoy. And if you like this video, please share the link on your social media platforms. I cannot stress enough how far that goes into helping me grow the channel. And that's it. That's all I have to say about it. What do you have to say about it? Leave a comment in the comment section and let's have a conversation. Now, I'm sure you've heard me say this a million times. So if you like this video, give it a like and leave a comment in the comment section and share the link on your social media platforms. I cannot stress enough how far that goes. Hell! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! 
And while I do appreciate you liking, sharing, subbing, and leaving comments, I'm going to ask that you help me go another step further in helping me grow the channel. I set up a membership program for those of you who'd like to offer additional support in the development of this channel. It's not anything expensive or special, it's just 99 cents a month, which is enough for me to continue doing the work that I do here. Help me! Help me! Help me! In the future, there will be additional tiers with added benefits, but right now I need your support so I can cover basic costs. So please, sign up so I can continue giving you awesome content. This is The Layman's Journal. I'm out.